Did you know that 67 million Americans are diagnosed with high blood pressure? Half of the people diagnosed with high blood pressure are not even in control of their disease, which in turn has led to approximately 1,000 deaths a day along with costing the U.S. over $46 billion in prevention and treatment. A blood pressure monitor works by applying a pressure that is greater than the pressure in the veins, allowing the monitor to measure blood pressure. It is important that blood pressure is taken at heart level to get accurate readings. The heart pumps blood throughout the body by means of muscle contractions. It is composed of four chambers called atria and ventricles. The atria collect blood while the ventricles push blood out of the heart through arteries. When the heart beats, the blood monitor measures systolic blood pressure, which is the peak in blood pressure. The second measure, diastolic, is the pressure in between heartbeats. Sensing is the heart of this blood pressure monitoring device. Here it is on the circuit board. We can infer from the name of this device, the semiconductor pressure sensor, that it works by changing its conductivity under different pressures. When the blood pressure monitor is first turned on, the pump increases pressure until the pressure regulator outputs a certain voltage telling the pump to turn off. It then takes two measurements, systolic pressure when the blood st first starts flowing through the vein, and diastolic when the fluctuations between pressures stop. So how does the sensor actually change its voltage output? It works off of the piezo effect, which is the compression of a piezo crystal within the sensor. So the pressure will come up from the pump, compress the sensor, and that crystal will change its resistance, allowing the circuit to measure a different voltage drop across the battery. The voltage output of the sensor is too small for the computer to read. So the circuit has the concept of an op amp, which amplifies the voltage and feeds it into the computer. Computation will be explaining how information is taken from sensing and turned into commands to be read by actuation. As shown in our flowchart, we begin when the on button is pressed. This turns on the device and starts the pump. When the sensor reads that the pump is at a set maximum, the pump will turn off and the valve will open. When the valve opens, the pressure inside the cuff slowly decreases until no pulse is felt. The data is then put into a graph that shows where exactly the pressures are measured. A running average is taken to linearize the data, and this line is compared against the pulse. When the first pulse is heard, the cuff pressure is at the systolic pressure, and at the diastolic pressure when the last pulse is heard. Another feature of the device is the ability to store previous recordings. The diastolic and systolic pressures along with the pulse are stored in the EEPROM as variables, which can later be recalled by pressing the memory button repeatedly. When the memory is full, the oldest data is erased and the new is saved. There are three main actuators in the blood pressure monitor, the pump, the valve, and the beeper. The pump and the valve work together to inflate the bag and the beeper serves to notify the user when there are changes in the deflation process. We constructed a model of what is happening in the blood pressure monitor on a breadboard. When an electrical current is run through the circuit, the valve closes and the motor begins running, pushing air into the balloon via a pump in the motor. The blood pressure monitor contains an LCD connected to a circuit board that contains these parts. Here is a 3 volt mini pump that is priced for $150 on Alibaba. This connects to the solenoid which can also be found for under $5. The air tubes also connect to the main integrated circuit. Compiling the circuit board has two parts. A machine solder for small components such as resistors and a hand solder for large integrated circuits as well as the capacitors. All parts of the board can be found online on websites such as Alibaba and DigiKey. I'm just going to take your blood 
The most crucial part of a heart monitor is the plastic case that holds it all together. The plastic shell is durable, easy to manufacture, and cost efficient. There are different methods in manufacturing plastics. For this particular plastic case, we designed it in SolidWorks to print 3D. The 3D printer uses additive geometry to print objects. This means that it prints an object by overlaying a newer layer of plastic over the previous layer. The wrist strap can be made very cheaply in places like China. A thousand of them can be bought for 80 cents. This is the result of 3D printing our SolidWorks model. 3D printing is great for prototyping, but for mass production, injection molding is a far more cost efficient option. Proto Labs is a company that will give you a quote for an injection mold. Your blood pressure is pretty high. Were you doing any physical activities before you came here? Get it.